Hey, my name is Bench, and welcome back to another Star Made Logic tutorial. Uh, this one comes from Argo Contar in the forums asking about a door that opens and closes with the animation playing the correct way. So, if it was a door which was opening from the sides, then it would start from the sides um, to close, and then it would start from the middle to open again, so it looked like it actually was working the way it should be. So, let's go ahead and build this. So I've got a generic door here. And what I'm going to do is just throw down an activation module um, that I can then use to select everything else that's going to happen. What I'll do is I've got a little spot under here and I'll put it into a activation module and a not. So this is going to control our two states. So one of them will open the door and one of them will close the door. Um, and we we'll, we'll leave a space in the middle in case we want to invert that signal. Um, and then what we can do is we're going to grab a bunch of OR gates and say our animation is five frames long then we'll put five out and then grabbing each one of these we'll start doing our actual animation so what I might do is set the pane I think that's in the middle yep and start doing the animation so what I really want is I kind of want a like a claw or like these things coming out the sides and uh, as we do the animation we'll select them all all right so that might be the first part then I'll select the second or and I'll go and continue that part of the animation like so In this one, like that and that, close, 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 and then I might start the second half in the back here to start closing as well. So in this case, be careful. You don't want to accidentally select pieces that you've already done. All right, there we go for that bit, that, and then one more. We'll have us all done. And uh, you can make your animation as long or as short as you want it to uh, be. But if you have pre-existing doors, you might need to recreate them again if you want to do it in this manner. Oh, and then fill in the back. And done. Okay. So there's our door. It's all closed up now. And what can we then do is we'll turn off our mirroring and count however many frames we have. And then we're going to do that many delays on each side. Three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four, five. Um, and also what we want to note is where the start is, which is on this side. Uh, I always go left to right. It's just easier to remember. Uh, now with each of these, we're going to do an AND gate for each. An AND gate for each there. And then on the side, which has the activation block, we want to chuck another NOT gate. Alright, now just to link all this up. Uh, select the activation block, and we'll put it into the NOT gate. And then we'll put it into each of these AND gates. And then select the NOT and put it into the first delay and then that will go into the next delay that will go into the next delay so on and so forth like that and then each of these delay blocks will then select to go into the AND gate that's next to them and that's it for that side this side's a little bit simpler um, this NOT gate goes into each of these and then goes into the end one again delay and the delay just loops in down the line like that and then each of those goes into an AND gate as well like so so if we step back a bit and we hit the button you'll see uh, we need to toggle it for things to start loading up All right, and you can see there that that's the closing animation and that's the opening animation there 
So blue going to orange will be the opening, and orange to blue is the closing. Okay, and when we're opening, we want to do the reverse of the closing. So you can see there's a closing there. So what we can do is we can hook up the closing first, and it just goes, select one, goes into an all block like so, like that, and one more. And then these go the opposite way. because we want it playing the opposite. So we kind of crisscross like that, and we're done. So we should see now, there's the animation for it to close. We hit it and there's the animation for it to open. So that's really, that's all that is to it. And you can do as many complicated animations as you want. You can also link up other key things to these all blocks as well. If you wanted lights or stuff to start lighting up as it was opening up, you can easily do that. But for now, my name is Ben, and until next time, keep playing.